Delta Farm Press reports records are still expected to be broken for both corn and soybeans once the U.S. harvest for 2014 is tallied up. But that recent November 10th monthly number from the USDA did reduce corn production somewhat from October. I talked to Extension Ag economist John Michael Riley about the new report late Thursday morning. John Michael, how much smaller U.S. corn crop are we looking at now maybe? We're down about 70 million bushels compared to the last month's, uh, the, the previous month's projection. That stems ex largely from a, a smaller national yield, uh, right at 173 and a half bushels an acre national yield. Mississippi's above that 186. If we see that 186 come to fruition, that'll be a record uh, for Mississippi. But nationally, uh, you know, in the big in the big picture, it's not that much smaller. But but the, the market was looking for a little bit higher national yield, which would have pushed production higher. It went the other direction, and the market reacted accordingly. What about consumption of corn for ethanol? I understand that changed a little bit. That's right. It's uh, it's up about 25 million bushels. Feed feed use was unchanged, but uh, there is a little bit of expansion there, largely due to smaller uh, petroleum prices. That then invigorates the ethanol market. Now, as far as soybeans, what kind of change, or did we see any change in this report? A higher yield, uh, national yield, which pushed production up about 30, billion, 30 million bushels. Uh, most of that was, was taken off the market, if you will, in, in consumption with both higher crushings and higher exports. Uh, those pretty much offset each other, so ending stock from pretty much left unchanged for soybeans. So we're still kind of see this challenge between exports and crushing. That's still going on, really. That is definitely going on, and some of those crushings are exported as well. But uh, we are the national, uh, the global scene for for soybeans are, are still vibrant uh, due to, the, to mostly livestock consumption out, out overseas. But that is pretty vibrant. Mississippi uh, expected to get a, a, a record bush, a record yield at 52 bushels an acre. So uh, Mississippi's looking pretty good uh, compared to the national level. And one more question back to corn. Is part of the problem there maybe the change was made a smaller crop because of storage issues? I think we, I think we are seeing more on-farm storage. Uh, we usually have a good read of what the crop looks like, but uh, we're gonna, that, that might not be the case this year with on-farm storage.